What's the deal with Gruden? What can you tell me? What's going well, on the there? Gruden, the Gruden story is um, the Gruden story is really, I think, uh, the biggest concern among the owners right now because Gruden has said that he uh, is not going to settle. So it's now in the Nevada Supreme Court, the lawsuit that John Gruden filed against the NFL and against Roger Goodell, mm -hmm. alleging that they leaked those emails that cost him his job and his career. And Gruden has told people that he will burn the house down. He'll burn the NFL down to get the truth. And my sense since our story, you know, that we did, I uh, did with Seth Wickersham, my colleague at ESPN, mm -hmm. you know, I've talked to people around Gruden, close to Gruden, and he is all in to get the truth. So if the Nevada Supreme Court rules in his favor, there will be discovery. And that discovery means that Gruden's attorneys can subpoena Roger Goodell, every single owner if they want to, mm -hmm. to try to find out if the NFL did, in fact, leak those emails that cost Gruden his job. When does that ruling in the Nevada Expected come in down? October. Expected in just a couple of months. But I know from talking to people around the league, owners and executives, they're very, very concerned about it because Gruden is very, very upset. He wants the truth. He said no number on a check will satisfy him. And he wants his he wants his career back. I think he wants to coach again. As you know, you know he's working with the Saints. Yeah, I know. I know yeah. he's he's been at the yeah. Saints training camp. But I imagine doesn't the NFL? I mean, with discovery, not everything is going to be great for John Gruden to come out, right? I mean, uh, and and if he burns the NFL's house down, which owner is going to say, "Oh, yeah, we'll hire you and put you on the sideline"? So. That's great. That's a great question. So the other, the other issue too, Rich, is the six hundred fifty thousand emails that were amassed. Those Bruce Allen emails as yes. part of the Wilkinson investigation, and the worry is that discovery will lead to those emails as well coming out. Yeah. And we've heard from people around the league. There's all sorts of other dirty laundry hidden in those emails about all sorts of people around the NFL. So the NFL is in a defensive crouch, very, very concerned about the lawsuit, and it's uh, the balls in the court. The Nevada Supreme Court's and so here. and Gruden is just still angry, pissed about everything else. That Extremely happened. angry. What do you and, think happened? Well, our story laid out, I think, a pretty compelling case that there were a number of groups that had access to the emails yes. and were involved in the leaking. We reported that Demora Smith, uh, the outgoing now the ex head mm -hmm. of the National Football League Players Association, yeah. had gotten a, a copy of that first email yeah. and bragged that he leaked it to the Wall Street Journal. That second set of emails to the New York Times, Rich, um, I believe that the league had something to do with it. That's what our reporting showed. Mm -hmm. uh, Rock Nation, our reporting showed, people told us, was also involved. Desiree Perez, uh, really? the CEO there. Yeah, that was that was reported in our story uh, last month where we laid it all out. I think that everybody had a motive to leak it. And I think we <laughs> laid who, who had access to it. Uh, we went into, and you and I talked about it when I was on your show just a couple of weeks ago when yeah. I was on the phone. I mean, you know, there, there's a lot of animosity between Roger Goodell and John Gruden, certainly in John Gruden's mind. Uh, he was running around, you know, telling people, you know, I, I, I'm the head of the F Roger mm -hmm. Goodell club. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, his lawyers believe that got back to Goodell and that was a motive for uh, yeah. Goodell greenlighting the leak. It just, it, like, I... I I, I mean, I, again, uh, I'm, I'm, I just hear something like that, and I'm just like the commissioner's got so many other fish to fry. Like he's he's hearing John Gruden's bad mouth, and that that might just he would laugh that off, not like say let's do something that could potentially be blow up in our faces here, you know. And he know like that's the thing I don't understand. If the NFL leaked it, then this is a this is something that the NFL doesn't want discussed that, that that an executive and a coach is actually saying these sorts of things i mean that that's what the nfl has said not, in court you're, right. you're you're hitting right on a really and, important point right is the nfl has said in court you know we had no incentive to do this this was going to be disruptive to a season that was going along great and you know and actually what happened was once those emails were leaked and it was this, you know, huge controversy huge. all over again. It reminded everybody of Dan Snyder all over again. And just a week later, Congress opened up that investigation, that wide ranging investigation that subpoenaed Dan Snyder. Remember when he was on his super yacht running around <laughs> the Mediterranean and, and avoiding that subpoena? Roger Goodell had to subpoena. It wasn't just an investigation of Dan Snyder and yeah. the Washington commanders. It was an investigation of the NFL. So the consequences of those leaks were very, very dire. They led, I believe, yeah. to Snyder eventually 
having to sell the team. Well, and 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 again, I know we discussed this the last time you were on, but I, it it it's true that Snyder called Gruden fat, and and that's the genesis of the spat between these two men that led to potentially all of this stuff? Happened. Yeah, they, really? they they didn't like each other. And then there was this one incident in Boy, our they, story. A lot of people don't like Dan Snyder, <laughs> yeah. which it seems like. You know, there's a, there's a lot of folks, in. but okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I, but absolutely right. It was, it was, they were back and forth one night in a restaurant. Uh, Gruden has told people that Snyder was quite drunk. Yeah. And uh, they got into it. And uh, yeah, you know, you're you're fat. Snyder said, "Gruden, you're fat." Gruden said, "I'll dribble your head like a basketball." And uh, <laughs> it was just ugly language. And and so, from Gruden's perspective <laughs> and his camp's perspective, they're thinking, "Okay, this is another reason, another motivation that Snyder had for initially looking at these racist, misogynistic emails that Gruden wrote years ago when he was an announcer at ESPN yeah. and said, let, let, let's get him out there. Let's get rid of this guy. And from the perspective of the Gruden camp, they believe Goodell also had a similar motive, that Snyder and Goodell looked at Gruden the same way and, and helped push these emails out to get rid of Gruden. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 